guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a bit of a favourites video for you. I don't do these all the time, but I had quite a few things that I have been really liking recently, um, so I thought I would share them with you. I'm going to start with all of my beauty favourites, and then I have a few laundry favourites and a few kitty favourites as well. I'm really sorry if you can hear some building work, but we still have builders doing stuff upstairs, so you may hear a few things. So the first two products that I wanted to tell you about are tinted moisturizers. In the winter months, you may know if you've watched my channel, I wear the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I really like to have a lot of coverage when I'm really pasty. In the summer, I probably could just get a darker color and mix it with moisturizer and wear it like that. But Estee Lauder have two other amazing products that I have really loved. This one is the Estee Lauder Day Wear Multi Protection Antioxidant Sheer Tint Release Moisturizer. It's the coolest product. There is just this one product for all skin tones. So it goes on almost like white or clear, and then as you rub it in, it takes on the color of your skin. It's the weirdest thing but it matches your skin no matter what color you are. So this is perfect if you go on holiday. Or well, when we went to Cyprus recently, I took this with me and I could wear it at the beginning when I was pasty and at the end when I was really tanned. So it kind of just rubs in, it really evens out your skin tone and it gives you a really nice glow. So it's SPF 15 as well, so it's great for holiday and it would be perfect for someone who doesn't want loads of coverage. They just want to look like they've got like a healthy glow. Um, I was thinking it would even be good for men who just want to even out their skin tone. Um, but yeah, it's an amazing product and it works really well if you use it as a primer. So next up, if you're looking for a tinted moisturizer that has a little bit more coverage and a little bit more color in it which is kind of what I like to wear um, the Estee Lauder BB cream is so good I get it in intensity 3 it's a really nice consistency it goes on really easily I just literally use my fingers to apply it and it has a nice amount of coverage and it seems to stay for a long time and I just really love it. This is all I've been wearing all summer. Such a nice product and it has lasted me for about three or four months already and there's still like I reckon another month in it. So although it might be a little bit higher in price, I think it's worth it. So that's face and then on to lips. I get loads of questions about what lip color I'm wearing, um, what lipsticks I like and things like that. And to be honest, I've never made a video on it because I'm pretty lazy when it comes to lips. In the winter, I really like matte dark lips, but this in the summer, I've been wearing lip liners so much and I've really been loving the Maybelline Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner. They're brilliant. The best thing about it for a mum is you do not have to sharpen them ever. They just literally like go up. Like so when you run out, you just roll it up, which is amazing for me because I can never find my sharpener. Um, these are the two colors that I've been liking the most this summer. This one I'm actually wearing at the moment. It is number 63 East End Snob. <laughs> Um, so I really like it. It's just like a pinky nude, suits me, matches this dress. I haven't even been wearing matching lipsticks with these. I will just line my lips with them and then fill the middle in a little bit and then either just put on a simple gloss, which is also Maybelline, um, or Vaseline, and I'll just fill it in like that. So I'm kind of wearing it as a full lip color, um, but I really like that lip liners look really precise and you almost look more put together, I think, when you are wearing a lip liner. Next up, I have two fragrances, and normally I am a Jo Malone girl through and through, and I just love their perfumes, I just trust them, and I buy them, and that is it. I have some dupes for you. My friend told me about these and so good. I found the best one at the body shop. Um, so in the body shop, their summer range at the moment for fragrance is really, really nice. And this one, Italian Summer Fig, is so good and it reminds me so much of the Jo Malone Wild Fig and Cassis perfume. Um, so I got the body spray, but you can get it in the Eau de Toilette, which I actually wish I had got now, um, because the Eau de Toilette will last for seven hours, whereas this one lasts for three, but I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, and so I just got the body spray to have in my handbag. But now I'm gonna go and get the Eau de Toilette as well, because the Eau de Toilette is only like nine pounds, and I think this is like four pounds now in the sale, like so cheap and smells so amazing. It's like a sweet 
fig. I think it smells really classy and like I said, very like Joe Maloney, um, if that's a word. <laughs> and just really nice. I think this would make a really nice gift as well. Then I also got the Body Shop Polynesian Island perfume as well because for me it just smells like summer and it reminds me a little bit of my youth as well, if that makes sense. But it smells really nice. Um, this is actually for my friend Laura in the bigger size for her birthday. Sorry Laura, you know what you've got now. <laughs> Um, and then I got the smaller one as well for summer. Um, but yeah, it just smells really summery, really lovely. Next up, I have three products to show you that are to do with the laundry. And I cannot actually believe that I'm showing you laundry products because I'm not very good at it. But now that I'm in charge of all these people's clothes, um, I can't risk ruining them and I'm just having to get better at them. So the first product that I wanted to show you are these unstoppable in-wash scented bowls. <laughs> This is a completely unnecessary product, like they're not gonna clean your clothes better, but they make your washing machine and your clothes in the wash smell so good. But you know, every now and then, if your machine starts to smell or you specifically want a wash to smell really scented or really nice, like if you were doing sheets for like a guest or something like that, these are so good. I probably only use them every once a week or once every two weeks. Um, but I just throw them in every now and then and it makes the whole laundry room and the whole machine and everything smell so good. I've now tried every scent that they sell. There's a blue one, a pink one, and this one as well. Um, and this one is called Lavish and it is my favorite one. Next up, I've been using these color catcher sheets. They are just little sheets that you put into your color load to catch the bits of color that are coming off of like kids school uniform or anything that's going to risk ruining the other clothes around it. And I'm amazed at how well these actually work. And it's really satisfying because when you get them out of the wash and you get the color catcher sheet out, all of the color that has run goes onto this sheet. So you can actually see how much color has run and there's something really satisfying about it. I caught it all. <laughs> and the last thing that I want to show you with laundry is this Vanish Oxy Action. Sorry, hear the builders. Um, this is so good. It's like a powder. Um, so you can either use it as putting just a scoop in with your wash that has a few stains on it and that really helps to get those out. Or if you specifically have a t-shirt or something that is covered in paint or marker or like me the other week, blood, <laughs> you can take a cap full of it, mix it with water and use it as like a stain remover paste. And it's so effective. Um, the other week you would have seen Caleb smash his face and there was blood all over a white t-shirt of mine and I put it in um, with some of this and it got it all out. Last up, I had two kid favorites that I wanted to show you. First up are these books by an author called Chris Houghton. I think that's how you say it. Um, I just thought they were worth telling you about it because my boys have really loved them. And you know when a book becomes a book they want to read every single night? Um, I thought I would tell you about them. They're really, really cute stories. Um, also, the best thing about it, I think, are the illustrations. They're really so colorful. Um, and the boys absolutely love them. We got one called Oh No. George which is about a naughty doggy <laughs> and I thought that'd be quite a cute present for anyone named George um, a bit lost and also good night everyone which actually makes my boys yawn um, this one is by far their favorite it's about a little owl who gets lost and they're trying to find his mummy and he's like describing his mummy and then at the end he finds his mummy all the little animals in it are so so cute especially this book good night everyone the colors are incredible and the boys seem to really, really love it. And another obsession of Fraser's because we need more things that we need to collect every week are these Disney Zoom Zoom toys. Really just like little round balls that you can collect or stack. But the little plastic ones are all Disney characters. So you can get like the Mike Wazowski one or the Mickey Mouse one. Um, and you can get them online from Disney, but we also found them in Tesco's as well. Um, and yeah, it's just like another toy and he loves them. So I thought it was worth telling you about. Let me know in the comments if you like any of these things or if you've got any other favorites you want to tell me about. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm really glad that I could put together a non pregnancy related video for you guys because I am so aware that my channel is like I'm pregnant 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 I hope you like this video and I will see you soon bye